So growing up in America, you're really used to straight line borders. It feels like borders between states and provinces and Canada's are just big walls kind of arbitrarily separating one place from another. But that's honestly not the norm around the world. Look at South America. It's almost all curved borders. Uh, most of Africa is too, and almost all of Europe and Asia are that way too. But why are the borders like this and are they actually straight? Now, there's a lot of videos on the internet that explain how these borders came to be so straight. And long story short, it's because they're sparsely populated. Congress didn't have the best map of these areas and people from the east side of the United States decided what the borders be on the western side of the United States, which is kind of a similar trend to what you saw in a lot of African countries where people not from the area, aka up here, decided what the borders were going to be instead of going with the more natural borders of the land. So let's focus in on a state like Colorado. From the outside looking in, it appears to be pretty much a perfect rectangle. But as you zoom in, you find that actually it's not the straightest line ever. This was due to a lot of the primitive technology that the explorers had at the time when mapping. You know, they had to follow an exact line for hundreds of miles through mountains and hills. And at this point, you know, they didn't meet up perfectly. So they just settled with a straight line in between these two. Now, this is really apparent when you come up to this Colorado Wyoming border it may not look like it from the surface. But when you really zoom in, you see that a lot of these border lines are not perfectly straight. So here's an example, Wyoming to the north, Colorado to the south, that, yeah, they didn't follow a straight line. They just kind of curved around a little bit, up and down, bunch of different sides. Um, you know, they could have just gone straight, but they did a few little curves and it kind of continues like that for the entire length of the border. But here's an even lesser known fact that actually applies to all of the states, but not many people actually realize it. So by looking at Colorado, it looks like the south border and the north border are the exact same distance, right? You know, it's perfect 90 degree corners. So Therefore, the top is the same as the bottom. Let's test that out with the measuring stick. So we go right at the start here, right at the end of the top border, at around 591K, plus or minus. Let's look at the bottom. So starting right here, all the way to the end. Oh my gosh, around 625K. How does that happen? Now the reason for this is actually the lines of latitude. So as you're more close to the equator, when you have lines that follow the lines of latitude, they look pretty much straight. And when you're on the ground, they are actually perfectly straight. But as you go farther north, the lines get closer and closer to wrapping around a small circle. This is also a line of latitude, but on the globe view, it looks a lot more curved. So that is just an exaggerated version of what we're seeing in Colorado. This part is a higher line of latitude than this part. And I guess what I meant by perfectly straight is they're actually not perfectly straight. Going back to that measuring tool, if we start right at the tri point and end on the other side of Colorado, right here, you can see that the actual straight line, if you walked perfectly straight, goes north of the border for the majority of it, but then intersects at the end. So these borders are actually curved all the way around. I always love to show this example because when you're looking at a flat or Mercator projection of the earth, straight lines look really curved. However, when we go to the globe view, you see it's not as curved anymore and it's actually perfectly straight. So sometimes when you're on an airplane and you're wondering, you know, oh, why is my plane going all the way around? Why can't it just go straight? 
Well, it actually is going straight. One last example before I end the video. A flight from Sydney to Buenos Aires, Argentina on a flat map looks really curved. Like, why would you not just fly straight across the ocean? Why are you going all the way down here? It's the same reason, actually. It's a perfectly straight line. And if you actually went over what we thought we wanted to go over, you'd be going much farther. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have anything to say.